Hello, Hello everybody. Hi, I'm Ali. I'm Mick. And today we're going to create it with Chicago. Okay, Jodie Chicago is one of Ali's favourite artists. She was born in 1939 and she works and lives in America. Uh, she's also an author and a teacher and she's exhibited all over the world and recently she exhibited in the Baltic at Gateshead which Ali loved. Oh, it's brilliant. It was just such a good exhibition. Anyway, today we're going to look at her most famous work, which is the dinner party. And for the dinner party, Judy Chicago, she created a triangular table with place settings for 39 women who were famous in history and also in mythology. And, you know, mythology means, um, it's things like the stories of the Greek gods, these things that are they're made up, they're without fact, they're imaginary, but they're, they're really good, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and she, the, the dinner party took her, she made it between 1974 and 1979, because obviously it's a great big piece, it took a long time. And underneath the, where the table was put, she wrote 999 more names of famous women on that floor. And some of the women she chose to go to her dinner party were the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. She also invited Queen Elizabeth I and a snake goddess. So that quite, sounds like quite a lot of fun, doesn't it? To that it does, does. So there's the picture. Um, it'd be clear on your structure sheet. You can also it's look at it. Up. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Where all those women would sit around. Yeah. Terrific and she thing. also actually she made some artworks to go alongside the gallery corridors leading to the dinner party. They're almost, I think they're almost like invitations, aren't they, what you'd send out to people. But she made hers into beautiful posters. So I'm going to hand you over to Mick, who's going to show you how yeah. to make your own dinner party. Yes, because so now we can uh, get on and do some things ourselves. So if you've got your sketchbook and your pencils and paints and things, um, if you have a straight edge, a ruler or something else with a straight edge, because we'll be drawing triangles. And basically the idea is that we're going to do a triangle and inside the triangle we're going to put an object which represents a person that you've chosen to come to the dinner party. So, who would you like to invite around for dinner? Think about who would, you would like. Somebody famous, somebody you really like, somebody from your, from your family. Um, just, just have a little think what you'd like to do and, and think of people who have things which they can be easily represented by. For example, I'm going to do Clint Eastwood, a famous actor, and I'm going to do a little telly camera inside my triangle. And I'll do that later when, when Ali's telling me about things. Sh shall, I, shall I show them what I did? Sure. Sure I, don't, I did mine before. So I love Medusa. She's from the thought, Greek mythology, as we talked about before. So she's got snakes for her hair. Snakes for her That's hair. That's going to be a really good so one to colour in with that. paint. So, um, yes, I love that one. Yes, I'll, I will. I'll colour that yeah, in paint yeah. later. So you can use your, your pencil and your straight edge and draw some triangles in your sketchbook. Do as many as you want, or you can do several over a few days. Um, and in the triangle, like I say, you can do an object or something which represents the person you've chosen. For example, if it's somebody who snores a lot, you could just put lots of Zs as though they're asleep. Um, perhaps Callum Wilson, a footballer from Newcastle United, a, a little football might be good for that. Uh, Ariana Grande, she could be represented by a microphone. Okay, I'm going to do mine, my little yeah. tele camera in a, in a so, triangle. So while Mick does his, I think, you know, you could also use your card, coloured card, you could cut out some triangles and then collage onto that, you know, be as free as you like. Um, so under the drawings, you can also write the names of the people and you could, you could even write why you like them. And you could also think about what food you'd give them. And if you have time or want to, you could design an invitation or poster advertising your special get together, your special dinner party. Um, right, oh, so, so Mick started doing his, um, who are you doing again? Was this it is Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. So I'm just putting a triangle around now. Yeah. And Clint this would be another easy one to paint later when I, when yes. I uh, have a little bit more time, I'll get the paints out and I'll do this. Yeah, in because you can always sketch first in your sketchbook and then like I say, then you can copy that onto your canvas balls and have a good paint. So, oh, that's good. So that's mine. So, because he's a big Hollywood actor. So yeah, it's a big he's camera. very famous yeah. for, for filming. Because as well as being an actor, he's a director and often gets himself behind the camera. So I'm just going to quickly sign this. Don't forget to sign and date your work, like proper artists do. Mm -hmm. 
And again, we would love to see your creations. I'd love, I'm really nosy, so I'd love to see who you would invite to dinner and why. And especially what you'd give them to eat. I think that's it. Yeah. What would you give Clint Eveson to eat? Oh, bananas. Bananas. He was once in a film with an orangutan. He and was, used to wasn't eat he? Bananas I was thinking of time. beef jerky yeah. because he's a cowboy and yeah. a lot of things, isn't he? But I think I would like to see what uh, symbols people mm. use to represent yeah. their friends or whoever they've chosen. That'd I think that would nice. be quite nice. Yeah, yeah. that would be nice. And you can email them to the usual uh, email address, the small hut arts at hotmail.com. Hotmail yeah. Or Facebook. Yeah, we're on Facebook. And again, or send them through your youth worker to us, um, who you're working with. And again, I'll let you say thank you to our funder. Yes, the funder for this was the Biscuit Factory Foundation. They provided the money and lots of help so that we could get this thing off the ground. So we must say thank you to them. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And thank okay, you for it's been you lovely. Guys Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Here we go. Bye. Bye, everybody.